of my grandpas were farmers, and if they were alive today, I don't think they could even fathom how we were actually farming this ground. Let's start with crop nutrition. It requires farmers to apply fertilizer to each acre to feed the crop. Now, the way it's been done in the past and for generations is, well, put the same amount of fertilizer out all over the field because, hey, we're raising the same crop. But now with today's technology, farmers are actually getting down to small parts of that field and managing each little part of the field differently. Here's why this is so important. If a farmer can look at each individual acre and just analyze that acre and apply fertilizer correctly for that acre, well now he's got a much better chance to properly fertilize. What I'm getting at here is the average farmer in the United States today is not putting on as much fertilizer as what he's removing. Well, once he starts farming by the acre, he's able to actually do soil testing by that acre and change the fertility rate as he goes across each acre. So in other words, as farmers, we know there is a certain percentage of our ground that's bad, that we can't produce a lot. And a lot of times that's what farmers fertilize for across the board. Oh, I can only get 150 bushel corn on a lot of our grounds. So that's what we're going to fertilize for. But there are spots in fields that could raise 200 or 250 bushel corn, for example. So the farmer needs to apply extra fertilizer in those areas. It leads to more overall crop production without over applying fertilizer in any area that can't produce enough crop. Well, in our country, every acre is being farmed. If it can be farmed, for the most part, it's being farmed right now. So for farmers to grow their farms, it's a lot easier to increase the production on each acre than it is to try to find new acres that somebody else is already farming. So for farmers, the way they can most quickly increase their production on their farm is by dealing with each one of these problem areas that Brian was talking about. You see it on yield maps today. Most every farmer has got a yield monitor in his combine and as he goes across the field the yield goes up and the yield comes down. If a farmer can focus on those areas of wow here's some spots in my field that are great what can I do to make them even better and here's some areas that are poor what can I do to bring them up to be as good as the rest of the farm, they can really increase profitability without having to spend a whole bunch of money trying to buy more land. I'll just give you a quick example off our own farm with this. So we've got some ground now that the past landowner and our dad who farmed the ground for many years from this landowner both said, oh, we've got spots out here that it's very sandy and it's just not worth hardly even farming. So just put a minimal amount of fertilizer on most of that ground, don't even worry about it. Well, once we started soil testing by the acre and analyzing the worst spots, what we found is the ground wasn't that sandy. What the big problem was, was micronutrients. There was a certain couple of micronutrients that if we just applied more of that, that was our yield limiting factor in those spots. So once you start kind of zooming down in on smaller areas and analyzing what do we need to do here to increase overall productivity, I mean, just think about it. If there are five acres out of 100 acres that are producing almost nothing, if you get those five acres to produce quite a bit more, well, that brings your whole farm average up, and obviously it increases profitability and increases overall food production. Well, this has certainly been possible with technology, and farmers from 20, 30, 40 years ago They'd have no idea this is even possible and they would be very, very excited about how much more efficient they could be on the farms with new technology. So we're seeing farmers farm by the acre rather than by the field or by the whole farm level. Well, one of the things farmers are looking at by the acre is weed control. We'll talk about stopping our Weed of the Week coming up later in the show.